Finn's gonna look for the group. Okay. I, I reckon we'd still be collected for the most part. Some... Or at the very least, Pearson would be easy enough to find. Yeah, Finn will make Pearson. her way back to the courtyard where she last saw everyone. Okay. Um, when you return, at least, uh, of course, with everything that happened and, and Pearson still just trying to process everything with unconscious Dragon Keen and a bunch of other shit and two kings and fucking all that. But he did notice, of course, Jarek storm off. So uh, when with with Finn, so when she would come back, he would ask where Jarek was. Uh, I think he's at the stable right now, trying to calm himself down. He's upset. Yeah. Hmm. What what the hell's going on, Pearson? I'm still trying to figure it out myself, but it looks like two individuals are resurrected. One was Lady Celine's father. The other one, named uh, Lord Francis. It was Francis, right? Yeah. No, Frederick? Oh, Francis. Francis. Yeah. Okay, Lord Francis. And the other one was is, is Theoden, the one that we know as the Lich King. However, Theoden doesn't have his powers anymore. Not his uh, powers over the undead, uh, but he is still very much alive. We were trying to figure out what to do. Next, but oh, what is the matter with Jarek? I'm assuming it has something to do with this whole Lich King business. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's pretty much in the mindset that the world is doomed. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, you said he's in the stables? D Pearson, what? what mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to talk with him. Pearson, I don't know if that's a good idea. Really? Why? Uh, he just, he was really upset, and I mean... Oh, the more reason to. You know, I'm just, I'm not so good with talking to people on this sort of level. Well, lucky for you, I might be. Oh, Pearson, just don't make him leave again. I won't. No, that's not the whole point of it. But I think we should all come and figure out what we need to do together. Uh, is Keen still out of it at this point? Uh, no, he, he, um, we, we've, we've, uh, well, it depends on if this is immediately after, then yes. About half okay. a day he'll be walking around. All right. Well, um, I, uh, Pearson wouldn't mind talking with, uh, Jarek to kind of figure out what the hell's going on, but if that's going to take too much of the game time, I'm willing to not do that. Uh, that's you can. I have no problem. You, you can okay, wait. No a, if you it. if you want to have someone else included, you could wait a half day. Or if you want to do this one on one right now, then I have no problem with it. Okay. Well, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it one on one right now, real quick. And then, if if things continue for too long, or if it's something that requires a whole group thing, then we'll wait the half day. But Pearson would probably have something to say to Jarek, regardless. So uh, he'd probably uh, hunt him down in the stables. Yep, Jarek will uh, be uh, rushing his horse, uh, energy crackling around him as mm. he attempts to sift through his thoughts. And Pearson will say, I have to say, I was pretty surprised too. So... What's got you so upset that you won't even step back inside the court? Finian convinced me to stay here. I imagined that being a sufficient enough boon. True. Although, just staying here isn't going to really do much. We could plant a tree and it would stay here, but it won't help figure out what to do next. I did advocate heading for Colhaven, but mm -hmm. you wanted to stay and visit your family, and now I understand why Keen was being so secretive. Did you by chance get an invite to the courtyard? I did. I thought I as much. Yeah. 
So they did something behind your back, right? So they brought up this Lich King. They resurrected this guy. This now, now there's two people. One of them was Lady Selene's father. Okay, that's fine. And the other one is uh, Theoden, who used to be the Lich King. Except, can you really be the Lich King when you can't raise the undead anymore? Or are you just the guy who used to be the Lich King? His current status does not change who he used to be or what he did to Ardenfell. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Cannot argue with you on that. My only question is, what are you going to do about it? Jarek continues to brush the horse and says, Well, I am going to assist, as I am one of the few who can, and bringing an end to the demonic invasion. All right. See, I don't know whether you're saying that to just convince me or convince yourself or if it's all just a lie and you got something else turning underneath that brain of yours. Yes, I'm the insidious one who lies to people as he resurrects the Lich King. Oh, mm. no, wait, that was Keen. Yep, yep. I, uh, I had no idea and I reckon that he didn't include you. Because there's uh, this old adage, in Whitebridge at least, which is, it's better to ask forgiveness than to ask permission. I would That's have tried to kill him. Yeah, and, and that too. Probably, he probably didn't want to die for doing something that he thought was right. Now, whether it was right or whether it wasn't, actually, interestingly enough, isn't the point. It's not the point. Bad shit happens all the time. Things that are out of our control. What we do with, what we can do though, is realize what is in our control and what do we do moving forward. Pearson, you are a criminal. You cannot change my mind. I'm an ex-criminal. I was same, a thug. Same case with Theoden. And Jarek turns his head to look back at Pearson. You might wear different clothes, but it doesn't change who you are. Uh, with that, I'm afraid you're very wrong. People can change. Even the worst. Even people who used to beat up shopkeeps and kill innocent bleeding people on the street can learn and change and not want to do that anymore. I don't, that simple. I don't care how they change. What they did mm. was wrong, and they deserve to be brought to justice for it. Okay. Then bring him to justice. But maybe after the demons are dead. Thank you for lecturing me, old man. Are you done now? Well, it depends. Are you, uh... Are there are are there going to be any problems between you and Keen? Because I yes. reckon once, yeah, okay, yeah, see. I plan on doing this whole working together with the group thing because we're the only five who are capable of bringing an end to the demonic invasion. Mm -hmm. But uh, because Keen brought back one of the greatest evils Ardenfell has ever known, who has created entire legions of undead, who. Mm -hmm stole my arm, and who personally tried to rip my soul out of my body and mm -hmm. possess it, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I think I'm uh, permanently upset. Okay. Pearson pauses for a moment. Jarek like like turns next. all the way back and like has his back to his horse and says, "Look, Pearson, all the people who tried to kill you in the course of your life, your thuggery, there's been quite a number. Mm -hmm. And what did you have 
Did you ever let any of them go and say, ah, it's all right, sport. You're know, going to change, and you might be a help to me in the future. I'll let it slide. How many people did that happen to? Two got away, but most of the time I killed them. In fact, I uh, killed one of my greatest friends near the end when I... Uh, tried to leave my gang, so uh, yeah, I didn't let, let a lot of s escape my grasp. You're right, but here's the thing, Jarek. I didn't just go off wild-eyed, breaking into their favorite tavern and try to make a jab for them. I bided my time. I waited for the perfect moment, and then I struck. I'm not saying what you're doing or what you're thinking or what you're feeling is wrong. I just want to make sure you do it smart and you do it at the right time. If you yeah. say you can work well together with us, that's great. But frankly, what I'm hearing from you is a whole lot of moaning about how the world is evil and how you have been wronged. And I got bad news for you. The world don't give a shit. And bad things are going to happen long after you're dead. All that matters is what you do with the time you got. That's the difference between us, Norm. You're a mortal who has death staring at you. I, Jerick Veermol, am eternal. No, you're not. You can be killed. Jerick lifts his skeletal arm. Not anymore. What do you mean by that? I mean exactly what it says, old man thug criminal. Now, if you're done lecturing me on what the world cares about, I'd like to go back to brushing my horse. I already told you that I'm going to work with the champions of Lady Selene, for I am ostensibly one of them, because I don't perform great acts of evil like reviving the Lich King, and I do want to bring it into the whole demon menace play in Ardenfell. Once that happens, all bets are off. All right. I'll leave you. But one last little bit of uh, nugget from an Jer old man. Jerick rolls his eyes. Azale probably thinks he's immortal, too. And we're going to prove him wrong. And with that, Pearson will depart. Jarek shakes his head and mumbles to Heinrich, What a fool he is. And continues brushing the horse. So. Um, so, that was fun. Thank you yeah. for letting me indulge. I, I enjoyed it. Um, we are close to the end of the session, though, and this is a good stopping point. Unless there is something anyone wants to do, um, I figured we could start closing it up and uh, next week start heading towards Coalhaven. Didn't we want to have another little bit um, after half a day had finished? Uh, well, no. I was going to say we could trend. We could. We could fast forward ahead so the characters had more time to or so that you the players had more time to process it but um if you guys have any interactions you would like to do then sure we definitely have time for them i i don't mind don't mind True. I, don't, I don't mind ending the session oh, okay can hear i don't mind doing I've, I've, if there are any other player interactions which need to be done then it, it was best for them to be done at this time or not even need so much as want rather than it waiting an entire week. All right, mm -hmm. it's true. I, I have one. Um, after um, excusing himself from uh, the new people, after being, in his mind, well-informed about the situation, <laughs> uh, he's going to go and find Finn. Uh, Finn's just... Back at the the boxes she the box fort she made and she's beating the shit out of it. Hmm. Training, I see. Yeah, you could say that. Hmm. <sighs> he sits down cross-legged next to you. Finn. His stops. arms planted on his legs. 
Um, and um, s- sort of out of his, not really paying attention, but just kind of staring at the, the boxes that are getting hit. I'm sorry I haven't, uh, I didn't come with you with the forest. Uh, and I was sidetracked by the invitation of Pearson's children. That's okay. Uh, what do you think about all of this? Exciting? Uh, you don't think so? Uh, I just, I get this bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Like in a good way? Uh, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Cole, I just... Finn kind of sighs, like shrugging her shoulders and then sitting down next to him. I, I, I don't know, I, I kind of figured I wouldn't have to worry about whatever happens after we're done with this whole demon invasion nonsense. Right, afterwards. Huh. I imagine the people of power will eventually get back to what they usually do. Normal trade. Wagons will roll in and roll out. But, uh, it might take a bit to get back to the usual routine. Yeah, usual routine. What other things are you looking forward to in the future? What kind of Far off land will we venture? Search for your coin. <laughs> well, Cole, if we have it my way, uh, I'll go. I'll go someplace really, really nice. Like no bugs anywhere. Just bright, warm, um, money just falling from the sky, and uh, just me rolling around in it constantly. That's uh. That's my plan. Well, how deep do you want your money? (laughs) What? (laughs) How deep? Yeah. You can't just lay out a few coins on the floor and roll that around in it. (laughs) No. uh, Cole, it's got to be like a big lake, like an ocean of Mm -hmm. coins that I can just swim through for eternity. That's, oh, yeah. Take a while to get all of that. Uh, you, know, you never know. What sort of crazy business will you get us into next? <laughs> uh, jeez. Uh, Cole, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be retired after all of this. That much coin, you say? Oh, yeah. Mm. Big time. I mean, you can have some. I don't know. You can build a fort or something out of them, I'm sure. I'd rather have a tree than a fort of coins. Okay, how about this? How about a tree with golden leaves? Hmm? Hmm? Finn's, like, raising her eyebrows. Could have the trees be permanently in change. It'd still be warm outside. I like it. Yeah. That's the kind of future I want. Cole will slide a javelin from his pack and chuck it fairly hardly at the box. The box just (laughs) crumbles. (laughs) Finn stares, raising an eyebrow. Hmm. Not as fun as hitting a tree, but... Fun enough. And he will stand up and, uh stretch a bit off her hand if if you want to get up or not. Uh, Finn will kind of look distant for a second, but uh, lock eyes with you, grin, and then grab your hand and hoist yourself up. And um, he'll go, I am going to go and see what else I can do around here. 
oh. and uh, give a, a a nice jog out the room. <laughs> then we'll wave. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the end of that. Touching ending. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, Burnerator, hmm? was there anything? Uh, no. No, I, I'm i good. Okay. I can't do anything for the next half a day anyways, so... No, well, well like I said, we can fast it's forward. Much, it's much we can move forward half a day. Yeah. yeah, we move forward half a day. It, 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 might, it might be good uh, to have, uh, for lack of a better word, have our characters clear the air where we actually all meet together again and figure out what we want to do. Yeah. And like I said, kind of clear the air between this whole, I don't know if it's how well it's, this is going to role play out or not, right? But it's going to have to happen. Make, making an agreement to like what location we're going to move to next, whether yeah. it's still Colhaven yeah. or another locale. Because otherwise, we would just have to wait an entire week and then have the conversation then. Oh, exactly. Essentially. Oh, thank you for saying that. I actually have one more piece of information to give you guys. I almost forgot. Okay. I was supposed to give this mm. earlier in the session, but um, um, uh, for lack of a better term, let's say while we fast forward that half day, uh, Lady Celine actually gets an interesting missive from Palathir, which is the High Elf capital. The missive is from the um, Council of Three, which is the ruling council of, of uh, Luthien. And it says... Uh, I don't have the exact words written down, but it says, please stop and desist your hostile and aggressive actions against the demon guests. You have <clears throat> invited them into your home and then proceeded to try and drive them out. Please send a representative to work through this before we take actions against you. How Wait, long would it take to get that cannon working? <laughs> it's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap. <laughs> Wait, where did that missive come from? Palathir, the capital of Luthien. Yeah. From the, the, uh, the Council of the Three, which is the mm -hmm. ruling party of uh, the High Elves. Mm -hmm. Blow it up! Blow it up! No, I don't know. No. Yeah, I don't want to go there. Yeah, please send a representative so we can fucking Hell kill him no. or like, interrogate him or extract can demonic we send, secrets. Can we send a missive back that's just a giant middle finger and then it says from Finn? <laughs> Actually, no, it'd be from... I, mean, uh, I don't, I wait, don't see why you could pay like a long-range courier like five gold pieces. Go to Palatine. <laughs> the, the, the high elf that yeah. opened the gates for Sunset Tower just sends them the middle finger. <laughs> yup. No, hold, hold up. Maybe Cooler Heads is better. Let's not reject it right away, but also let's not accept it. Why don't we answer their bullshit bureaucracy with our own, which is... We'll gladly send our representatives. We feel the one, uh, the individuals best suited at this purpose are currently away on business. When they return, we will send them immediately to Palanther. And then we can wait as long as we need to. You're like, give me a recommendation. It doesn't bother me as a player one way or the other. Yeah. I just don't want to go right because it sounds like a fucking trap to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah Out of character. Of that's a total fucking trap. It. Yeah. <laughs> That's a that's a trap and a half. So, um, that's interesting, though. It confirms our suspicions. Or yeah. you know, it might not be from the council of the three. It could just be sent by so convinced by a zail for all we you know. <laughs> it's true. It's true, but yeah. No. Let's go someplace they don't want us to go. Call Haven. I'm down with that. Okay. Yeah. I'm awesome. still down for Paul Haven. Yes, that important piece of information. Then that settles it out of character. In character, though. Yeah, we still yes. have to yeah, yeah, we should yeah. Probably yeah. tackle that. Yeah. Have a moment. I'm just going to mute yep. myself over here. To right. be honest. Hi, God. I just said, press God, paint a setting where we can have a conversation. I'm like, okay. drawing like a book okay. right now. I will do yeah. that. Yes, Burn, you were saying? I didn't think that this would splinter the party so fucking hard. <laughs> Well, at well, least at least it's not splintering the players, which is the important part. Um, yeah. Yep. The characters right. I get imperfectly understood, like why you want to do it as a right. player. Oh yeah. 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 Um, do, do you yeah. perfectly understand? Because there is something that I didn't mention before. 
Oh, Grimoth perfectly understand. We all understand each other okay. out of character. It's oh, yeah. resolving it in oh, character. character. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fun, and you guys are probably going to be very mad at Keen for his reason. <laughs> There's, we'll find that. We'll figure out once we get there. But why don't you paint us a scene there, Mister yes. GM? So, um, I think the best course of action would be. Um, you know, I think that Carla would probably be the one. Oh, God. Don't tear up my fucking fake house. <laughs> no. um, Carla would probably be the one that would say, no, you all need to sit down. <laughs> you need to figure this out. Because I'm not sending my husband with a splintered group so you can all die. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. I want to imagine this conversation between Carla and Jarek. Really Carla <laughs> Do not piss her off, dude. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You don't want to. Jerry doesn't have any calm with her, and, know. you know, he's infinitely more powerful and could easily crush her, but he doesn't want to, and so... Okay, so I mean, like, we can do it like this. You are all... Oh, God. Jarek's not going to like the small deception here, but you are all invited to Pearson's house. Mm -hmm. uh, Pearson's the only one that knows what's going on. Of um, course. Because Good, as, and Inferno, and, and I, everyone. Inferno, I am taking a, a small assumption, but you do not. You, you told me before you share everything, so she yep. would know what's going on. Yep. Okay. Um, so you all are invited to the house, and when you arrive, um, she sits you Why? all down. Why am I being invited to to, to your house? To, but you know, because you know we have to find a place to Actually, to meet together, and frankly, what's going on at Sunset Tower is. Not good for planning. All right. Yeah, I don't want to be around Lady Celine. I agree to that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'll agree with Carla. All right. For fine, whatever. <laughs> um, you will all be invited in. You will all be given lunch at a table. Um, and I'll, I'll put it this way. Um, Jarek, you will... Uh, unless you would want to be the first to arrive, I will say that you would probably be the last to arrive. Yes, Jarek can most certainly be the last suspicious motherfucker that he is, having been betrayed already. By his <laughs> Not betrayal if he didn't know your feelings. More ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you will be brought in where everyone is sitting around the table. Mm -hmm. Carla will offer you a seat. And I can't. I can't help but laugh as a player because this feels like an intervention. Yes, I know. <laughs> it is an intervention. Jarek, it's a Jared intervention. intervention. We all care about you. <laughs> no, we'll get this figured out. Uh, would would and it be actually, safe to say, GM, mm -hmm. that Olivia would be there as well? Uh, Olivia's standing shoulder to shoulder to Carla. Damn. Okay. And um, yeah. basically she sits everyone down and Carla very simply says, she looks at Keen and she says, you should have let everyone know. She looks at Jarek and says, you have a job to do. And then she looks at everyone and says, fix it. And then she and Olivia leave the room. Finn gives a look. <laughs> That's daggers. <laughs> Jarek gives a bewildered look at the two women who are leaving. Cole Pearson strongly shrugs. eyes the chicken in the middle of the table. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Might as well start eating. <laughs> Pearson will take a leg and just shrug at everyone's glares at his at his wife. Hey, Pearson, like, huh? Pearson, mm -hmm. do you have any um, what is it called, like spirit? Um, oh, you want something? Yes. Something sure. that'll make me forget this encounter. Um, I could clunk you over the top of the head, but I'll get you some uh, some booze at the very least. So I'll take some. Yeah. Fix her a drink. Will mm -hmm. uh, lean back and cross his arms, not touching any of the food or beverage at all, and wait with his eyes closed. So, this is how I see it. Pearson will stay, getting the ball rolling. We made a deal with the Lich King um, a few weeks ago, right? That he would assist us and uh, fight out these demon hordes, right? And we would worry about what the Lich King is or what he would do later on, right? We, we, we substituted one small evil for one great evil, right? Okay. And everyone was comfortable with that, right? Everyone was down with it. We all marched up 
and face the, the, the Lich King's army. And we said, yes, we want to ally with you. We want to take you away from the from Azale and fight with us. Everyone was fine with that. Even you, Jarek. Mm, Lich King dies. Don't well, put words in my mouth. I didn't say you were... Well, you allowed it, or you would have brought something up beforehand, correct? I accepted it. You accepted it. That's a good sense of words. Not that you approve, but you accepted it. You accepted it. So, for sure enough, Lich King dies. Heads rolling off in front of us. Well, there goes our ally, right? So King takes it amongst himself to bring him back. Now, he didn't tell us beforehand, which probably was not the wisest of ideas, but it happened, and we can't un- make it happen, can we? So now, the Lich King's pet. So, the big question is, is what... Well, not really a question, it's more of a statement. We're back at almost the exact same place we were two weeks ago. So there's no reason why we can't just continue on like we were going to two weeks ago. And... And, uh, get the last few alliances and kick Azale out of our fucking world. Can we at least all agree to that? Keen is kind of hunched over looking kind of sorry and he will just nod. Jarek, eyes still closed, says my primary concern is the defeat of the demons. There we go. It's everyone's primary concern. Cole swallows his food and goes, Is there a problem with killing the demons? <laughs> no. There's not really a problem killing the demons. The problem is... Is that when push comes to shove, I reckon... When we do face Azeel, we're all going to have to do it together. And if a single one of us holds back, it might be the end to all of us. So if anyone has any fucking problems with anyone else here at the table, might as well say it now and get the air clear so you're not holding resent in your heart when we have to do what we need to do. I'm very much a fellow who doesn't believe in bullshit. And I don't think you should keep bullshit within you as much as you should spew it from your mouth. So, come on. Let's not play stupid. We can cut the tension with a knife. Say what you will. No judgment out here on the table right now. Sorry for not telling you guys my idea. All right. What was the reason behind it? Was it just, was it to get our ally back? Was that your idea? I had three reasons to do it. Okay. One was, yes, to get our ally back because we had essentially, after that little portal here, we had wasted the past month we had just gained an ally and then lost an ally and all of our orc you know our orc horde that was going to be coming with us still in zogaha Mm -hmm. wanted to at least make that month count so that we'll be able to at least have a bigger force for taking down azale my second part second thought about it was remember back in back in Vamgalir when we saw Stellar was alive again and he's going to be looking at Pearson yep how all of us reacted how the fuck can he still be alive how, how is this war going to be won if they can just resurrect their own people Mm-hmm. It was kind of a mindfuckery tactic with Azale. 
Okay. So both a tactical and psychological reason. All right. What was the third? Oh, this is the biggest reason why I did it. I have been working for Lady Celine for over seven years. Yeah, you were bounty hunter. Yes, directly under her. Her personal bounty hunter. In fact, a few of the magical items that we have currently, my bow, Finn's daggers, I personally collected. And for the majority of the time that I was working for her, she she put on a mask. She was kind of aloof and she seemed dumb. But that was just a mask to hide the fact that she was very sad. And when... When you guys left, and after Theoden left, Lady Selene gave him a look that I am all too familiar with. She loves him as much as I love Olivia. I didn't want her to be sad like I was. I know it's personal. I know I did something stupid without telling you guys, but I... <clears throat> yeah. All right. Anyone else? Anything else? <laughs> oh man, this stuff is really gross, Beers. Finn know. puts the the cup down. You said you wanted to forget. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to be forgetting a lot. Very likely. Mm. Although that stuff does have a tend to loose, loosen lips as well. Anything you want to bring up? Me? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't know. You don't know. I guess just uh, stop the whole demon invasion. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. Yeah, it would be. It would be. You don't have any problems with anyone here at the table? The Finn looks around, shakes her head. And you're not lying, are you? Pearson, please. You know me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm- lying. <laughs> she thinks about it for a second. Okay, he says. The Pearson isn't even going to say Jarek. He doesn't need to at all. He doesn't even have to look in his direction. He's smart enough to know what he's doing. Well then. If that's it for the personal shit, let's figure out exactly where we're going and how we're going to get there. My mind, we got the fucking high elves to the north. Yeah. Jarek's, uh, where Jarek is from, Cullhaven, and of course the dark elves. We got suggestions on where we should go first. I think we should give a big middle finger to the uh, high elves. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Keeping his eyes closed and remaining leaned back in the chair, Jarek says. I believe the kingdom of Colhaven, which I have advocated for quite some time, is important in part because it borders the free lands. If we could resolve whatever situation exists there, that would be immediately beneficial instead of traveling to deal with elves of either kind. What do you say makes sense? I agree. Oh, mm-hmm. oh cool. So Keen, <laughs> I I completely agree. Wait, uh, all right, all right. And Cole? Well, it looks like they're throwing a hissy fit. I'd rather hit things than try to calm down a child. So you're for going to Cullhaven? 
Yes. Okay. As oh, am I. I should hmm? say the High Elves was the child in question. Ah, I see. All right. Well, I'm also in agreement. What Jarek says makes sense. So we'll go to Callhaven, and, and that will be that. Wait, um, Finn, pass me that for me again in the drink that you've been um, sniffing at. He reaches out for it. She'll hand it to him. He'll uh, take it up to his nose. He'll give it a sniff, kind of blink his eyes a little bit, take a little bit of sip, and then uh, with a surprised look on his face, he'll say, Oh, oh, shit. Um, you shouldn't have been drinking this. Um, we use this as paint thinner. Um, what? I'm sorry. Uh, the bottles, they were both brown, long necked. I assume. Pearson. Jerry oh, wow. opens an eye. <laughs> Kirsten. It's okay. You won't get sick. It's just... Um... Carla! <laughs> you <don't call>. Finn <laughs> looks down. We'll just have to pump your stomach. That's all. What? Carla! What? <laughs> what does that even mean? There's this tube that she... I, I had to do it a few times in my younger, Kirsten, more rowdy days. I, have, I don't have my daggers on me, but I will go grab them. No, and don't. Strike you down. No, don't. Don't. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Carla's Guys? head sticks in the door. Yes. Um, she drank something that she probably shouldn't have. Um, wrong bottle. Uh, we might have to just give her some of the old, um, you know, Car- sweet water. Carla perch. looks at him. Paint thinner. Uh, uh yeah. She sighs. Finn. We- Derek me. opens the other eye and looks uh, worriedly at Finn. Uh, wait, um, what exactly is paint thinner? Is it like, it thins paint? <laughs> Carla you motions paint towards Finn. Finn. <laughs> Carla motions towards Finn. Come here, dear. Don't worry. It's fine. Uh, a little faster, dear. What the actual fuck, Pearson? <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's not. Carla will take care of you. I've done Please it myself and I'm still standing. And says, I do have a problem with someone at that table. <laughs> Okay, good. Carla, Once what do you, you get your stomach purged, you can come back and let me know. You, Carla, you see, you hear Carla leaving with Finn saying, I've had a problem with someone at that table for years, Finn. J- Jarek watches Finn go with a look of concern. There you go. Oh. I had to end it on a slightly light note. <laughs> A.K.A. Stomach I, 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 I don't know whether that's ending it, and I don't really know whether that's a happy note. Well, I'm dying. <laughs> <You're not laughs> dying. Oh man. There we go. Well, I'm <laughs> glad. I, mm-hmm. I'm glad I was invited to this. Glad Carla mentioned this to me. Sounds like I didn't need any help resolving the situation. He begins to stand. We already had it figured out. To call Haven, we're going. When are we leaving? I figure we'll leave as soon as as soon as tomorrow morning, since it's already very late in the day. Tomorrow morning. Yes. Is that sufficient with you others? Yep. You can go as soon as well, as soon as Finn's ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She'll be oh. fine, Pearson. The reinforces. You hear from over there. Just one more spoonful, Finn. Just one more. Oh, no, please. I don't want any more. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Jerrick uh, looks back to the door that Finn went through. It, it also might be worth mentioning that I can't heal anymore. At least I won't be able to for a while. So we should park up. A few more potions then before we leave. Keen will not. Okay. We, we haven't. Well, have you exactly found riches enough to pay for these uh, these potions? No, but I figure we have enough allies here that they might be able to assist us with that whole payment situation. Mm. Yeah. Might be time to cash in on our meal ticket. I think she owes me a favor. Um... I could be wrong, though. Jarek's eyes slowly gravitate towards looking at Keen 
Keen is staring actually, back. And he'll actually sit back down and close his eyes and begin popping the, the knuckles on a skeletal hand. You did make one right decision in not telling me. Mm -hmm. I would have attempted to kill you. That's why I didn't mention it in front of you. Yes, which is why it I agree you made the correct logical choice. And it is only the words of Finian that have kept me from not trying anything until the demons are killed. You have brought back my greatest tormentor, the creature responsible for bringing me more pain than anything else in life, responsible for ripping my arm from me, who tried to rip my soul from me after our discussion on Windfall Isle, who has attempted to possess me in order to continue you his unending life. A creature, malignant, vile, and vicious, who has tainted the world with his presence, who has brought great evil upon the land with his hordes of liches and vampires, slain more than just thousands of orcs, as he assisted a demon lord seeking to invade and ruin all of Ardenfell. You, for your reasons which you listed, brought back an evil into this world. And for that, I can never forgive you. You have infuriated me beyond compare, beyond, almost beyond my ability to control. And it is only the realization of what I must do or else it will fail that I am able to talk to you at all instead of reacting violently. Okay. So... Pierce. Oh, sorry, go ahead. A after all of this is said and done, you're going to try and kill me. I do not know. I might think of a worse fate for you. Mm. Or, Pearson suggests, he can maybe... Temper, you'll, you'll, you said yourself, you never forgive him, right? But what if he swears, but by the end of it, he assists you in killing the Lich King, correcting can, his mistake? I will I never do that. I no longer have any trust for anything that Keemstormshire may tell me. Well then. Okay. That's fine. But here's the thing. Um, if I recall correctly... All I was doing was fulfilling our side of the bar bargain um, that we made with the Lich King in order for him to turn to our side, which he was on our side. He is our ally. He was no longer an enemy. And he doesn't have these powers to raise the dead and corrupt the, the ground anymore. We and you find this as some form of justification? that he is no longer controlling undead, that he is no longer cursed? Does that make him less evil? Does that change all of the harm he brought to this land in some way? Why don't we ask the orcs, all of the orcs who died to his undead legions on the battlefield, whether they would have wanted the Lich King revived? Pearson, you were going to say something? Oh, no, it's a good question that I myself have already answered to Jarek. I think he wants to hear your reply. What, that I should have asked the orcs? Or does... I'm confused. He wants to know if you really understood the gravity of your decision. Or no, if it was that isn't a concern for me. He clearly didn't. He, wa he wants to know whether a person can truly be redeemed or not if future deeds wipe away all the past shit that they used to do. That is a yeah. valid question. I believe so. Splendid. Yeah. 
Well, I'm not. I'm going to. I'll lie. I, I would be a liar if I said that I was happy that all this came to light. But I think it's a lot better than it being all secretive. Right. Mm. Redemption, whether it can actually be attained or not, is definitely one for debate. But what isn't going to be debated is two things. That we are going to go to Calhaven and together we will stop Azale. After that, well, if we have to go our separate ways, if an other individuals try to harm others, then that's another chapter, I guess. Mm-hmm. Not a chapter I'm looking forward to reading, but who knows? Our current book isn't done being written yet. Anyway, something might change again. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe we'll be lucky. Maybe Dementia will kill the Lich King yet a second time, and there'll be nothing we can do about it. I do not understand what the value of such a target will be, presuming that Theoden... My tormentor is no longer capable of commanding undead legions if you would actually trust him. Well, who knows what they think. Besides, so long as Theoden hangs with Lady Selene, Lady Selene managed to fend off the teleporting demonic lieutenant fiend. I'm sure she'll take good care of him. Yeah, well, I don't know about assumptions. Finn is running out of the room. Oh, God. I see you're doing much better. She is lunging at you. <laughs> I will it'll, accept this lunch. <laughs> Jericho Jer will actually stand up and uh, actually put his hands on Finn and uh, attempt to pull him away, her away from Pearson. Uh, Pearson, can you... Oh, you owe me so much. Agreed. It was a mistake. Do you know how many no. times they threw up back there? I didn't uh, eat that much today. It sounded like seven. Oh, damn you, Pearson. I'm sorry. I, I was distracted. And you wanted something strong. Whatever I can do to make it up to you, I will. Oh, trust me, Pearson. There's a long list of shit I want. You're paying for it. Okay, he says. Good. I forgive you. For now. Thank you. I accept it for now. Oh, I'm still pissed. I understand. I would be too. Jerick will I, Finn. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just bleh. bleh. You know, I should have probably realized there is something weird with that, but... Oh, God, humans are weird, Jerick. No offense. Jerick gives a nod of understanding and lets go of Finn. Hmm. Pearson will say uh, <clears throat> before we leave Jarek I'll just encourage you to look to what Pearson's at I mean Pearson to what Finn's attitude and her nature was will you please stop with the lectures I'm not saying I'm not lecturing anything. I'm just encouraging to observe what happened. You, if if her opinion is one that you trust, well, look at it closely. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, it's funny how you don't believe me. It truly is. I have offered you my opinion as it stands before I was even hoodwinked into this by your wife. Mm -hmm. I remain dedicated to ending the demonic threat. And I do believe that nothing I've ever done or argued for is as terrible as reviving an e evil so great and awful as the dreaded Lich King. You... The way I see it, I'm completely absolved of anything I could be accused of in the future. Uh, who says you? I'm, I'm not accusing you of anything. I was just merely mm -hmm. highlighting the nature of forgiveness. Jer what Finn Jerick did flashes was the same thing. Mm -hmm. How many of those who attempted to kill you did you forgive? None, but that was my mistake. 
If I were to do it over again, I would have. Oh, the tragedies you know. of youth to live in old age and go, if only I had done that. Well, perhaps if you would actually present me an opportunity when that arises. Very well. You're absolutely right. Words mean nothing. Actions mean everything. We'll see what the future brings. It's not every day, but I'm just saying what Keen did to you is the same thing what I did to Finn, except that the scale is much smaller. But the fundamentals are the same. To be fair, Keen didn't try to directly kill Jarek. Finn just says under her breath. <laughs> he has brought back my greatest tormentor, who did try to kill me, and who is responsible for the deaths of countless others, whose legions of undead I have hunted for all of my adult life. Fair point. There we are. Same thing. People m make mistakes, they fuck up, they try to make amends. Whether the other person forgives them or not, that's on them. That's all. Look. Obviously, I did something. Um, I probably should have included most of you. Uh, I still do not regret my actions, and I am not going to um, advocate for the death of Theoden again. Um, so, I'll just leave it at that. And Keen will get up and start walking towards the door. Useful as always, Keen Storm, sire. Of course. And he will leave. Seriously, though, I'll buy you whatever you want, Finn. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yep. Jarek really will nod and stand supportively by Finn. Got Jack on my side, Pearson, you're going down. Check out this list. She starts, like, rummaging through her pack. <laughs> Jarek will actually look at Pearson and flash him a smile, a genuine one. Pearson will raise an eyebrow and acknowledge it, but not smile back because... He's very confused. He's about to lose some money. <laughs> oh, very likely. Yeah. That's you, know, you know, Finian, mm -hmm. poison that was poured down your throat, how are you supposed to help us fight and defeat the demons? I know. When you're ailed in such a state. I know. It is the job of your host and hostess to take good care of you. Invited mm -hmm. you into their home. Right? Yeah. You trusted them. I trusted mm -hmm. him. Yep. And that's what they did. Pearson, your list just got a lot longer. Yeah, except that he's making it sound like I intentionally tried to poison you when it was just an honest mistake. Have we not I, all made honest mistakes before? Okay, the first I, thing we're doing is getting uh, a different color bottle. Okay, so, well, agreed. 100%. That's, that's, that's my gift. That's a must. As you Thank you. Pay for it, yes. As I pay it's for it, yeah. Fair. Yes, mm -hmm. completely yep. fair. Yep. yep. Um, Cole, Cole, how are you mm. doing over there? Oh, a uh, few more bites. Gotcha. Wait, Cole, did you just finish this bottle? We told you it was paint thinner. No, I usually don't drink even the alcohol. I know. It seems to cloud my mind, and I'd rather keep it around. Where did the rest go, then? Oh, well, we got rid of it. Oh, I'm good for you. Anyway, let's go. Okay. That's right, don't get distracted from the list fit. Oh, right. That's right. First off, I need a new hat. Okay. Okay? We'll get you a, a shiny hat. Oh, not a shiny hat. That's too gaudy. That's something like the other high elves would wear. That's right. You need yeah. to make something practical. Otherwise, the demons might rip it off or harm it in some way. Right? Mm-hmm. Something like Cole's with a feather so we can match. It'll be like a team, a duo. Okay. Yeah. And we might engage in some noble intrigue when we're in Callhaven, so you might want something fashionable yet practical when we're traveling in the forest. That's right. Oh, man. Here's some we got work to do. Okay. As uh, we do that. I was going to say, should I stop there? Or? <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, let's I stop think, there. I think we're good. Yes, yes. <laughs> 